Well, here we are. It's just after Christmas again. A time of rest for many, getting over all those celebrations, a family day for others, and for most of us, in one way or another, a day of reflection. Hi, I'm Bernie Diamond and welcome again to Fresh. It's funny how this time of year, stuck as we are in this little limbo week following Christmas and preceding the new year, we tend to reflect on our lives, the year that's just been and the one that lies ahead. So let me ask you, what sort of a year have you had? Good, bad, ugly? The sort of year that you'd like to celebrate or not so much? Whatever your answer, one thing's for certain. There are bits of it that you'd rather forget. Mostly those bits where you fail yourself, your loved ones, and yes, God. That's in a sense why we love the coming of a new year. It's the chance to start over. And yet if our sin lingers on, if its effects are still eating away at our lives, the ticking over of the calendar is pretty much meaningless, isn't it? That's why it's important to have your slate wiped clean. If we say that we have no sin, then we're fooling ourselves and the truth isn't in us. But if we confess our sins, God will forgive us. We can trust God to do this. He always does what's right. He will make us clean from all the wrong things that we've done. The whole point of the Christmas celebration is that through our faith in Jesus, our slate can be and indeed is wiped clean. Don't head into this next year without leaving your sin behind. Confess it to God, trust in Christ, and He will cleanse you. He will wipe your slate clean. That's His word fresh for you today. Hey YouTube, if you are blessed through today's message, then click on the button to subscribe to our daily fresh videos.